Welcome to Visage Imaging, and thank you for your interest in the Visage 7 Enterprise Imaging Platform. Visage is a provider of enterprise imaging solutions that enable PACS replacement with local, regional, and national scale. Visage 7 is proven providing a fast, clinically rich, highly scalable growth platform deliverable entirely from the cloud or on-premise. Through our brief overview presentation, you'll see how Visage supports the simplicity of a one-viewer philosophy, enabling multiple workflows from the same modular, flexible platform. With Visage 7, we truly are the platform for the future, powered by speed. Let's begin our demonstration of the Visage 7 smart client with the display of a CR of the chest, current, and multiple priors. When a user loads a study into Visage, they're presented with a variety of display layouts. Here we can see the current study, the APM lateral presented side by side. If I step to a different layout, I can display the current study on the left and going back in time, stacked, rolling my mouse wheel, I could display all of the priors. One additional option here we can show is the current study on the left, the most recent prior in the upper left corner of the right display, going back to the most historical. Now we'll move on to the next study from our work list. Here we have an ultrasound in a two tile layout side by side, right and left display. If I step to another layout, I can look at just the static images by themselves. And again, a different layout will display all of the clips in a tiled format where I roll my mouse wheel to view the additional uh, clips on the next page. And finally, I have a tiled example uh, where all of the images are displayed. Now we'll move on to the next study on our list. Here we have a PET CT side by side, current on the left in white text. The red text represents the prior study. Note the backlit date uh, so that you can uh, easily see the prior study's date. Now we will switch over to the layout showing just the current study. And using my 3D MIP, I'm going to target on a hot spot. And in our axial image, we're going to bring off our tool palette a lesion tool that will allow me to single click into the hot spot and obtain a maximum SUV. From here, uh, if I'm going to track this over time, I can bring up again from my tool palette a uh, tracking table that allows me to uh, save this as a DICOM structured report and then will be available when the patient has a follow-up exam. From the work list, we're gonna open this MRI with contrast. And we default to a compare four series layout, which shows the uh, first four series of the current study on the left display and the first four series in red text on the right display, which is the prior study. And I'm going to go ahead and initiate a linking of both the current and the prior by selecting a hotkey that I have uh, configured for myself. And now I can continue to uh, scroll through uh, the images. If I want to interact with any one series without them being linked, I can simply just toggle off the linking and interact with the one series and then turn the linking back on to update that linking at that particular position. I also note that I have uh, scout lines active by default. So as I scroll through my coronal sequence here, my scout lines uh, are positioned on my axial images. And I can step from any one of these to an additional uh, let one uh, compare one series and even drag a different series up into a viewer. Now, also I have available to me at any given point, my entire patient jacket. And from here, I can even load studies either in its entirety, or in this case, I may want to just bring in an ultrasound and into the, the display on the right. And then we'll go ahead and close uh, the navigator and then view the ultrasound alongside my current MR uh, sequence. 
Next, we'll go ahead and load the next study off of our work list, which is the CTA of the abdomen and pelvis. And uh, in this instance, it's, com it's uh, defaulted to a comparison MPR viewer. So these MPR viewers uh, are generated on the fly uh, from the source data. So we have reformats for both the uh, current study on the left and the prior study in red on the right side. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and initiate an auto registration uh, function, which will co-register these two studies together. Uh, and um, we'll let that run. And now they're co-registered and notice that they both snap to uh, size and position. And now I can work together with these NPR viewers to oblique and multiple planes uh, and uh, even decide to change maybe to a MIP or an average and minimum intensity projection and set an appropriate window level setting uh, for this particular study. Uh, and um, then from here, jump to uh, a comparison with uh, same, same comparison, same uh, auto registration function still available, but now I have the addition of the, uh, the 3D volumes. The mammography workflow can be driven in Visage by either keyboard shortcut preferences or the Visage keypad. We begin the workflow with an overview layout where the priors are stacked on top going back in time and the current on the bottom. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to advance through the workflow. Now at any given time, I can use an additional keyboard shortcut to uh, cycle in the quadrant nav mode, uh, but I can also set any of these layouts in quadrant navigation so that if I cycle to this particular layout, I'll automatically continue to cycle through the quadrant nav and then continue on with the workflow. Now, uh, users can pull from a library of additional layouts available to them that they can include in their workflow and organize their workflow any way they choose. Finally, we'll head back to our work list and load our last mammography study of the day. Here we have a tomosynthesis study. We're in our CC view. I do have a hotkey set up to toggle between my 2D and my tomosynthesis data on any image and then toggle back and continue using my keyboard shortcuts to advance through various layouts. Here's an example of the 2D on the left and the tomosynthesis on the right. I, I can, however, use that same hotkey on my 2D image to toggle also between the 2D and the 3D views and then continue through my workflow. And that concludes our Visage 7 overview presentation. Thank you for spending your valuable time with Visage. If you'd like additional information about Visage 7, platform for the future, powered by speed, please visit visageimaging.com.